Character name, Ajax, Supersonic Spy. Originally debuted May 2016. Overall look and changes. Ajax was an immensely fun mock to design and build. I had already conceptualized her character before I started building her, and after having built Kenpaku, Solanus, and Gringet, I couldn't wait to build a simple, classic Toa of Air. After scrapping all my Bionicle 2016 sets for parts and buying two additional jungle creature sets just for the Silver Scrawl armor, I began experimenting with the extra transgreen wing parts to create Ajax's signature wing design. She came together fairly quickly afterwards. Not much has changed since her initial release, so let's get on with the review. Character Bio Titles and Occupations Ajax is a Toa of Air and is old enough to be considered an Agent Toa, which means she was created before the standards of the Matoran species, such as size and gender, were decided upon by the Great Beings. She was created only a few months after Helrix and was immediately recruited to the Hand of Artaka and Helrix's Toa team. When the Hand of Artaka disbanded and Helrix founded the Order of Matanui, she extended an invitation to join the Order to every surviving member of her Toa team. Ajax gladly accepted. Eventually, the Order was sectionalized into specialized divisions, and Ajax was put in charge of the Intelligence Division of the Order. As Master Spy of the Intelligence Division, Ajax's job is to command, train, and recruit spies for the Order. The Intelligence Division is currently the second smallest division in the Order, just behind the Assassin Division. It usually consists of around 35 spies, most of whom are spread out around the Matoran universe indefinitely to report the goings-on outside of Daxia. Personality Ajax loves flying more than anything else. She spends a lot of her downtime trying to beat her current airspeed record, which is currently 4.9 times the speed of sound. She is known to be very sassy and happy-go-lucky, and is very good friends with Helrix. Her playful attitude does a lot to relieve Helrix's stress from leading the Order, but despite what her attitude might suggest, Ajax is actually extremely mature. She has witnessed and been involved with many tragic events, including a mission where she and her other team members, Glace and Shellock, were ambushed by the Brotherhood of Makuta, resulting in Glace and Shellock's deaths. While Ajax does feel somewhat responsible for their deaths, she does not let her past affect her emotions. Ajax seemingly leads the Intelligence Division with reckless abandon. She barely gives her agents any direction besides the missions themselves, which creates a somewhat freelance atmosphere. In fact, Ajax typically prefers to go on missions herself and leave the administrative duties of the division to Helrex or Tobduck. This means Ajax is often a rare sight on Daxia. Most of the division's spies are quite content with this arrangement, especially Mars. Abilities and Powers As an ancient Toa of Air, Ajax can create, control, and absorb air as well as manipulate wind currents, and is one of the strongest and most experienced Toa of Air ever created. She's gotten so powerful, in fact, that she can start hurricanes with minimal effort. Important Possessions Ajax carries twin daggers as her weapons, but typically prefers to use them only as a last resort if her elemental powers fail to get the job done. She wears a pair of night vision flight goggles to protect her eyes when flying at incredibly high speeds, and to assist in reconnaissance. These goggles also have the added bonus of recording everything she sees. Also, she keeps a few lucky feathers tucked behind her mask as an added accessory. Ajax uses a wing pack specifically designed for her by Solanus. This wing pack combines with the smaller jetpack she already wears, boosting its power significantly. Each wing has a total of four smaller thrusters built in for extra speed and finer control, plus the exhaust looks like glowing feathers for the added style bonus. Ajax wears a Kanohi Miru, the Great Mask of Levitation, which was reforged to match the appearance of the Nuva variant of the same mask. Mock Analysis Inspiration and Theme Just like with Regron, Ajax was built after her character was already conceptualized in Night of Night's Noxus' story, so I simply had to follow Bionicle canon with her design. Her name and basis for her personality were inspired by a Toho Project character with similar powers, Aya Shimemaru. For Ajax's theme, I went with my favorite of Aya's themes, Yokai Mountain, Mysterious Mountain.
IX's version of this theme is a rock remix performed by Dematori. Mock Features Ix has connection points on her hands that allow her to hold her daggers. There's also two connection points on her hips to store them when not in use. Ix's wing pack connects to her back like so, and it can be removed without breaking the torso or the wing pack apart. The wing pack can also fold down into a more compact state when not in use. She stands 8 and 3 quarters inches tall and 4 inches wide with a 17 inch wingspan. Mock Articulation IX has 35 points of articulation overall. She has a full range of ankle mobility, a less than 45 degree knee bend, full hip mobility, full head articulation, a wide range of shoulder articulation slightly obstructed in the front and top. A full swivel and slightly less than 90 degree elbow bend. Full wrist and finger articulation. Two ball joints on the base of each wing. Plus five individually posable sections on each of those wings. Interesting building techniques. IX's upper arm design allows for two 1x3 tiles to fit snugly between the other bionicle pieces. The tiles on the front still have stickers on them from a Power Miner set. The feathers on her wing pack are held together with skid plates to create a tighter yet still poseable connection. Cut flex tubes allow the feathers to rotate as well. Notable flaws. Due to the way her torso is constructed, Ix looks kind of hunchbacked when looked at from the side. While this is mostly due to the large backpack-like armor on her back, it still ends up looking a bit awkward. I'm not too big a fan of how these Technic lift arms look on her sides as well. Eventually, I'll look into slimming down her sides to make her torso less blocky and fill in the gaps under her arms. Fun Facts Ix uses this simple limb design I've used on several mocks for her upper legs, and her lower legs are a slightly slimmer version of Ray's lower leg design. Ix's goggles are mainly held in place with two minifigure hands which poke through the holes in her mask and are secured with sticky tack. Overall Thoughts and Criticisms Overall, Ix is one of my brightest and most classic looking Bionicle mocks. Her wings make her quite impressive looking on her own, even for a toa size mock. I'm overall quite happy with how she looks, and besides the tweaks I'd like to make to her torso, I can't imagine she'll be changed much anytime soon. What would you rate this mock out of 10? Any questions about the build or the character? Leave your thoughts in the comments below, and as always, thanks for watching.